Greetings, beautiful creatures. My name is Angel Nightmare. The first thing you're gonna do is get the foundation of your choosing and just slap that on your face. Wow, magic! And this time, we're gonna jump right into doing the eyebrows. And for this look, we're just gonna put two circles on our face. And that's it. This is a very simple eyebrow technique that I do that doesn't take a lot of time. If you're like me and wait till the very last minute to do things, then doing stuff like this helps. You could even add some X's, some triangles, squares, turn yourself into a PlayStation controller. What if they don't shave their eyebrows? I've been gone for a week. They've had plenty of time to shave them by now. So go ahead and shave those eyebrows already. So right here, we're just adding some eyeshadow primer. I'm using my finger because I don't want to get any brushes dirty because I'm too lazy to wash them. And I actually remembered to put some on this time. And now I'm just using red water activated face paint to draw a couple of lines across my nose because why not? And if you're curious about any of the products that I'm using in this video, the links are below in the description. They are affiliate links, so they help support your boy and you get makeup at no extra cost to you. Next, I'm just adding that same water activated red to go around my eye, just to have this perfect vibrant red and I'm going to blend it out with some red eyeshadow. And normally I would just do this with eyeshadow, but your boy's running out of eyeshadow. You'll be using the hell out of that red eyeshadow. And as you're blending, just remember that you keep blending until your arm gets buffed. So you're gonna continue to blend this for about the next three years. Make sure that shit looks right. Also, I'd just like to mention that today's video is sponsored by Angel Nightmares Patreon. So feel free to support your boy for just a dollar a month if you'd like me to keep doing makeup videos. Makeup is expensive. And now using the same eyeliner that I use for my eyebrows, I'm just doing the upper lid of my eye and going around the corners of my bottom lid to create this kind of shape that looks lovely. I'm not even really sure how to explain this shape. It kind of just makes my eyes look, um, yep. But yeah, you can make the eyeliner as thick as you want. I don't like to do it super thick, but I also don't like it to look very thin and basic. <clears throat> Move the slip rings out the way. Yeah, yeah. Now we're adding lipstick. I'm doing the one thing that I typically do is put red lipstick or any color imaginable inside the middle of my lips and I go around the edge with a darker color. And in this case, it is black. I like this style a lot from on from me on me. Um, <laughs> Anytime I'm doing a design on my lips or straight lines, I use a liquid matte lipstick, not a suede or a cream or anything. That way it holds up throughout the day. And then for some reason, I decided to add random black lines on top of my red lines. I don't know why I did that. Uh, but yeah, that's how I do a simple everyday goth look. It took me a total of 12 minutes. This is typically something that I would do for like going to school or going out to hang out with friends or something. Nothing too crazy. And it's something that's not very labor intensive or requires a lot of skill to do if you don't know anything about makeup. Feel free to recreate this look in any way you'd like. You can add triangles to your forehead. You could um, use different colors and not abuse red eyeshadow like I do. I gotta buy some new red shadow soon. So yeah, the Patreon link's in the description. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, smack that bell button, bite that like button, and I'll see you in the next video.